today we're going to be looking at the world through this little macro iPhone lens. It's absolutely brilliant. It can magnify the tiniest details with the greatest clarity and bring everyday objects, flowers and beautiful undiscovered worlds to life. I think when you see this episode, you're never going to see the world quite the same again through the lens of your iPhone. Adorama TV presents iPhoneography with Nikki Fitzgerald. Now, not only are these little lenses pretty powerful technically, they can also open up a whole new range of creative possibilities too. We'll be looking at a whole range of little objects in tiny detail, and we'll also be discovering miniature worlds in blocks of ice. Now, macro lenses are fantastic for photographing little tiny things, especially outdoors where the light is really great. But if you're just starting out in macro photography, I recommend you stay indoors where the wind is less likely to blow your subject around. Now, the kit comes with four lenses altogether. We've got the fish eye on one side and the wide eye on the other side. Now, very cleverly housed underneath these larger lenses, the wide eye is the 10 times lens, that's the macro lens. And then underneath the fish eye, we've got the little 15 times lens. That's the larger one, it's gonna give you greater magnification. Okay, so we've set up near the window here, which has this lovely natural light coming through. And what that's gonna do is make our picture really nice and sharp. Now, if we did have lots of harsh sunlight, which we do today, then what you can do is hang up a curtain, a very thin white sheet, and that'll diffuse that light and give us a nice even light on our subject. Now we've got our setup with a tripod here. That's gonna keep our camera nice and steady. With macro photography, it's really easy to get blurred shots because we're so close up. So just pop the lens onto the phone like that, snap the camera into the mount, and then watch out for these little shutter buttons getting caught with the mount because they'll start taking pictures. And you know what that, pop the iPhone earphones into the, the socket there, and you can start taking pictures with a remote shutter there if you're not using your timer, either will do. So I'm gonna take a range of photographs with my macro lens and see what we can get. I'm using the 10 times magnification, first of all. Now the 10 times gets a wider range of detail in focus. So it's great for this little flower that's got bigger petals to smaller petals. I'm gonna get a range of those in focus. Now you need to get the lens quite close. I'm about a centimeter away there. And stabilizers, our tripods keeping that nice and sturdy. Let's take the photo with the uh, remote shutter, that's the headphones I'm using, plus or minus button, click that and we're done. Lovely sharp picture of that flower. Now, one thing that gets harder to see as we get older is the needle uh, with a thread going through it. So let's have a look and see how that looks under the macro lens. Again, this is the 10 times macro lens, smaller one than the, the other one, the 15 times. And you can see, my goodness, you can see that needle so clearly with the 10 times and you can see the bits of thread coming out of the thread itself. It's that close. That looks fabulous. Okay, let's take a picture. Use our remote shutter. Click, the picture's done. Fantastic. Now, finally, I'm going to have a look at this magazine. What's to look at? Well, let's have a look. Let's place that under there. Get a pin, just secure that nice and steady. And let's get really, really close there and see those dots. Wow, you can actually see the ink dots that print to make the color of that magazine. Let's take a picture. And if you think that's as far as we can go, let's quickly flip that lens over, unscrew the fisheye to reveal the 15 times magnification lens underneath. Just snap that on, close it again. And wow, that detail now, there's, the dots are really, really sharp. You can see the little rosettes of the print that was used to print this magazine 50 years ago. Absolutely fabulous. I'm going to take a quick shot with that. Wonderful. Okay, if you've been watching this series, you will have seen how macro lenses, when you shine them on lights, can make the most fantastic background uh, blur bokeh. Now, I found this a fantastic glitter paper early in the week. And if we put this cactus just in front of it, this is gonna look pretty interesting under the macro lens. Now, what we've got is the sharpness of the cactus spikes. And they're really seriously sharp. And against the softness of that background bokeh, background blur, that's gonna look great. 
I'm going to take a picture and I've got a nice shot there. I'm really happy with that. Hi, Nikki Fitzgerald here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. Now one really fun thing to do is photograph small objects when they've been frozen, the little blocks of ice, strawberries and also little leaves like this look absolutely fabulous, especially if you put them up by a window and let the light shine through them, they look absolutely great under a macro lens, it's going to pick up all the little dots and the bubbles in that ice. So strawberries when they've just come out of the freezer look absolutely fabulous, they've got this little bit of frost on them which really adds a lot of uh, magic to the photograph. So let's get our camera over here. We've got the little iPhone lens attached, the macro lenses. I've got the 10 times on here. We need to get really, really close to that strawberry to pick out those details. And you just need to wiggle it a little bit until you get it nicely in focus, nice and sharp. And we can either use our headphones or we can use our timer to get that picture. And there we go, a fabulous little frosted strawberry. Brilliant. Okay, so we've got this fantastic frosted, frosted details of the strawberry. Now one of the other, if you think we've taken this as far as we can, well we can actually do more with our macro photos. I'm going to take this out of the holder and show you if by bringing a photograph into Mextures app, we open up Mextures and this has a tiny little drip I took with the 10 times macro earlier and you can see this is a lovely soft background. Now if you just uh, click on don't crop because we don't want to crop it, bring up the grunge textures here and you can see that by just putting it through the library of different textures it changes the background, it gives it a little bit more of a painterly feel, you can kind of up that a little bit by pressing the slider on the side or change the colour completely and the texture. Now I'm really happy with that, I think that looks fantastic. Now this is brilliant because this is a high res image, so you can print that out, you can print it out for yourself or maybe give it to family or friends and this is absolutely fantastic when you photograph something personal like an inscription or a, a child's toy or a lock of hair, maybe a poem and that will look fantastic, it makes it more personal and really you know with the Mextures app, with the camera lenses, the possibilities are endless. This powerful little portable lens opens up a whole new load of creative possibilities. So what are you waiting for? Together with the apps, get out there, go and shoot and see what you can get. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV where you'll find lots more information on iPhoneography related items and new products. Let us know what you think, get in touch and like, comment and share on our videos. Also, you can subscribe to the Adorama Learning Centre where you'll find lots more hints, tips, tricks and tutorials on photography and all of our new products. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.